Hi, buddy. This is Dr. Dan here. Our last thing we have to do for our BME 214L ECG project is to make a nice display that is useful, right? Rather than just using that dynamic signal analyzer. So we're using LabVIEW to do it. I put some background information on Canvas about LabVIEW. You can go through as much of that as you need, but we're going to build a LabVIEW VI to display our ECG data. And so I gave some direct instructions on how to, to quickly get a uh, a, a LabVIEW VI working so you can get um, you can get a display and so I have done that already okay on here and so I have my block diagram which is the the white thing right it shows us kind of how the program's running in the background and then our front panel is the display itself so I'm gonna make this a little bigger I'm gonna run this right so my ECG is actually hooked up to there and so you can kind of see my heart rate is kind of flashing by um, and some of the ECG uh, signals are flashing by. But this isn't a very pretty picture, right? So this is the simplest way we can at least check that we're getting some data in our analog inputs and we're happy with that. But we want to make a lab view display that actually looks good, that actually looks like a real ECG device, right? And so one of the problems is when I told you to add a graph indicator, it made a graph, okay? And this is a graph. Now, for ECG data, it better if we would use what's called a chart, okay? And so we can add a chart here instead of a graph. And so there's a couple ways to do that. Um, the easiest way is just right click on the background of your front panel. So it's gotta be this front panel because we're gonna add a, a, a chart to there. And there's this menu graph. And so you can see there's a difference. There's a waveform chart and a waveform graph, okay? So right now there's a graph being used. We wanna use a, a chart instead. Um, I also point out sometimes there's some other styles, right? So I can go to like the silver style and use a graph and do my waveform chart that's silver styled, right? Or there's the classic style graph, again, classic waveform chart. So, you know, whichever style you, you choose, the N NXG style, I have that. You might have some different ones depending on your version of LabVIEW installed, but I'm just going to stick to this. This is the under modern, uh, modern waveform chart. So I'm going to drag that over here. Okay, so you can see it's over here. And then we need to put our waveform chart uh, up in, in the block diagram as well, right? So I'm gonna make this while loop a little bit bigger and drag this up here. And now we want to wire the data for the waveform chart into the same data that we're getting for the, the graph, right? So we can see them both together. So I'll do that, connects the chart up. And now I'll go ahead and just hit run. Right, so again, the graph is just showing some instantaneous 100 milliseconds at a time data. The chart looks much nicer. Okay, this is what we would want to see from our ECG signal. So that's good. So we can stop this. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just delete this graph because we don't want that anymore. Um, you do have to make sure you clean up uh, loose wires or else it won't let you to run. So I'm gonna click on that and delete these loose wires. And then it's just a matter of making this look good, right? And making it look how you want it to look. So I'm gonna, you know, make it nice and big so we can see. And then all the options are basically controlled by right clicking on this. And there's a lot of uh, things you could do straight from this menu, or you just go to properties and it lets you um, do a bunch of the things, right? So number one, we're gonna start with appearance. There's this label, it's waveform chart. I mean, we can make it disappear if we want but maybe we want to call it something better, right? Like ECG chart. There's show plot legend. The plot legend is this voltage. I mean, I don't know if we need to see that, so I'm going to remove that. Um, you can you can go through and, and consider what some of these are. We're going to use a strip chart, but you can look at a scope chart and a sweep chart if you want. Maybe you prefer those other types of charts. That's fine, uh, but I'm just going to use a strip chart because I think that looks best. Um, we can change our display format for all our data, right? Uh, for our numbers. Um, and so, right, this is like date and time in the x-axis, and that looks kind of nasty, right? That doesn't, not something I really want on that axis. So I can change this to be um, custom time format, and I can use hour, minute, seconds. I could even put some digits. I don't want the PM on, AM on there either, so I'm going to take that off and put just that. Uh, and then I can do date unused to get rid of the date, which is a little let use little useless for us too, right? So I can do that. I can, you know, I can, if I want to display numbers, I can do that too, but I'm not gonna worry about that. 
Uh, and then plots, you can change how your plot looks, right? You can change if you want a dotted lines, solid. If you want it thicker, you can do that. Um, or if you want put points on there, which we don't want to do. You can change colors, right? You can put some fill in here. Probably don't want to do stuff like that. And then we can change our scales, right? And so right now the X scale just goes for about five seconds. Um, like these numbers are kind of weird. I will, I will tell you that right now, but those correspond to the time. So uh, we will want to fix that in a second. But the first thing I'm going to show you is the Y, right? So number one, uh, it's auto scaling to whatever the current values are, right? So there's, there's a chance that it like shifts up and down. And so that would just kind of change how it looks. And so rather than auto scale, I think I'm going to, you know, I'm going to scale this. I'll give it a little more room on the bottom. 0.5 at the top is probably pretty good. Uh, and I can look at my data if I want any more. But the other thing is, you know what? Do I really want that word amplitude right there? So I'm going to get rid of that scale label. I don't need that. And honestly, do I really need the numbers, right? This is an ECG. It doesn't really matter what the numbers are. So I'm, I'd rather make more room for my graph, right? That looks better. We could do the same thing on the x-axis. We can get rid of the, the graph and the, the numbers if we wanted. Um, you know, might as well. Uh, the one thing you'll see happen is, is it dropped down below that. So I'm going to hit OK. You can actually resize this thing so it doesn't look so ugly, right? So it looks like that. So now I'll go ahead and run. Right? Still works about the same, but the Y is not going to be bouncing around because it's not going to be auto scaling. Okay. Last thing is, you know, if I wanted to change again this the X scale, like right now it's five seconds. Um, I'm just going to change this from to zero to like maybe I'll only want three seconds, zero to three, right? And so I'll run it. Right, so it's now it's a little bit shorter. You can make it longer if you wanted more peaks on there. Uh, but, you know, I'll give you guys freedom to mess with this and get a nice looking chart. Uh, because that's our goal, is we want a, a instrumentation device that not only collects your data, but displays it as well. And so that's what LabVIEW is for. LabVIEW is a good tool that can be used to display um, any types of data. But, you know, for our purposes, works nice to, as an ECG display.